Now cricket has Lords, tennis has Wimbledon and golf has Augusta. But if you love cars, then this is hallowed turf. This is Ferrari's test track at Fiorano in the north of Italy. And it's part of an amazing region that's also home to legendary names like Lamborghini and Maserati. But we're not here for a geography lesson. We're here to talk about this, the Ferrari 458 Italia, the latest in a long line of legendary supercars from the prancing horse. Let's have a closer look. The Italia looks more like a stealth fighter than a road car, and there's a reason for that. Some of these components have actually been made by the aerospace industry. These little winglets here actually deform at high speed to reduce drag. But enough of the physics lessons, let's have a look at the engine. This is the heart of the new Italia. It's a 4.5 litre V8 that puts out 425 kilowatts of power at an ear splitting 9000 RPM. Now despite all that extra power, it's actually 25% more efficient than the previous model 430. It's also quicker too. The old car did the 0 to 100 in 4 seconds. This does it in 3.4. Let's have a drive, eh? This is where every car nut wants to be, behind the wheel of a Ferrari. But if you look at this wheel, it's actually got something missing. There's no indicator stalks. That's because they're on the actual wheel itself. If you want to turn right, you hit this button. If you want to turn left, you hit this button. If you want the lights on, there's a button here. And here's the windscreen wipers here. We've also got a suspension adjustment there, the engine start button. If you look over here, there's also a little switch that allows you to adjust the settings of the car. There's a sport mode, a race mode, traction control off, and if you're really game, stability control off. It's called a Manatino. But enough of the Italian lessons. Let's get this thing started. Have a listen to that. Three laps around Fiorano in an F458. I'm pretty excited, but I'm also bloody nervous because uh, I don't want to be the one to prank this car. sex that's been less fun than that. I feel like, I seriously feel like I'm doing about 40 here. I've just had a glance down at the uh, speedo and it's 110. So <laughs> that gives you an idea of just how quick this car is. Whew. Well, that is without doubt some of the most enjoyable six minutes of my life. That was just out of this world. I don't think I uh, got anywhere near Michael Schumacher's track record. In fact, if I got within a minute of it, I'd be lucky. And the best thing about it is that I got through it without wrecking a Ferrari. And that's got to be a good thing. 